What's interesting is both candidates are council colleagues. They both lead nonprofits, and they both have listed public safety as their top priority if elected to office. So I asked what they would change about the current strategy. Here's part of that response. We have embedded social workers in our police department. We need to fully staff our police department to ensure that they have the resources they need to connect with people because it needs to be a balanced approach of outreach and enforcement. While we're looking to fill our police uh, vacancies, I would hire re retired officers to come in and do work on the admin side of things so we get more police officers on the street Helping, helping the neighborhoods and businesses. Council members Judy Tuohy and Cassie Franklin may be running against each other, but agree on top priorities if elected. Improving public safety, reducing gang violence, and tackling a growing homelessness and opioid crisis. Not only do we need a prevention and a screening program countywide, but we also need some immediate measures such as day shelters and feeding programs. And then we also need to look at long term, we need a lot more treatment centers as well as housing. Right now we have waiting lists to get into treatment, so we need to expand our treatment options. There's a, a, a new programs that are coming on board in Everett. I think expanding on those so that folks that are struggling with addiction can get into treatment the same day. The city of Everett's next leader will face challenges not easy to solve and a significant budget deficit estimated in the tens of millions of dollars over the next mayor's term. We're also looking at a five-year forecast of $65 million deficit. So we have to live within our means. When we add staff and departments, there's an impact on something else within our uh, budget. So we have to look at that very, very closely. I believe that we can find some efficiencies. As we are um, growing, we, we have a higher demand for public safety. We have a higher demand to uh, maintain an, uh, the beautiful parks in our area that all requires money and staff. So when, when um, the next mayor is elected, they're going to have to take a good, hard look at everything, make some very tough decisions early on. So that's a condensed portion of our interview. You can see the entire discussion this Sunday on King 5 Morning News. During an extended web portion, we also talked about economic development in Everett and how they think the write-in candidacy of another candidate will impact their race. So watch for it on Sunday.